Hey guys, nothingwire.com and today we have the brand new Samsung Galaxy Tab S 8.4. 8.4 4 meaning this guy has an 8.4 inch screen. You also have the Galaxy Tab S 10.5 uh, which has a 10.5 inch screen of course. Now uh, the Galaxy Tab S series name denotes that this is the flagship tablet series from Samsung. Um, the S is probably borrowed from the Galaxy S series of phones which have become very popular and till they are their flagship phones apart from the Note series to some extent. So uh, we do not have the packet here unfortunately so we cannot show you the content of the box we will probably make a video later. Coming straight to the hardware here now the moment you pick this tablet you will see how thin and how light this guy is. It is very very thin about 6.6 .6 mm here it also has a very nice tapered side. and. You see that the back has a fox leather cover back and the dimple texture that you've seen on the Galaxy S5. Now a lot of you did not like that dimple texture on the Galaxy S5 but let me tell you this, this one on the tablet actually looks better because these uh, points are kind of dots are more uh, widely spaced than, the, uh, than that on the S5 so they are easier on eyes plus this actually gives a very good hold to the tablet and also this does not let your fingerprints and smudges stick to the back side at all. Having said that we are also pleasantly surprised by the fingerprint repellent nature of the glossy screen on top. You have the Super AMOLED 8.4 inch screen. Uh, it is glossy but then it does not attract fingerprints and smudges very little and that is one of the biggest pleasantly surprised thing about this tablet because tablets are generally known to uh, you know whenever they attract fingerprints they look ugly because they have such a big screens that you know fingerprints all over and they end up looking very ugly but this guy does not attract them at all so it you know it stays clean as ever yeah so Coming to the ports and controls and stuff, you have the 8.4 inch screens, an incredible resolution of 2560 by 600 pixels. That's much more than the iPad mini retina. Uh, on top you have the earpiece there because this guy supports voice calling unlike the iPad mini. And then you have your front cameras and notification uh, LED light and sensors and stuff. Below you have your home button, back and recent app button there left side is pretty much nothing on this side you have the speaker grill the 3.5 mm jack and micro usb 2.0 port and a noise cancelling mic now samsung could have provided a usb 3.0 port because these tablets have very large batteries they needed a usb 3.0 port uh, this takes much longer to charge much longer than a phone i mean to say so you have your sim card slot there because this guy is the lte version you also get the wi-fi version i'm not sure um whether you'd get you'd get the wi-fi only version in india but uh being market specific you would get the wi-fi version as well as the lte version then uh, here and also this has probably become one of the first tablets in india to support lte bands so that sim supports lte if you have 4g in your t uh, in your sim and then your micro SD card slot that supports up to 128 GB. You have your higher blaster here, volume rocker, power button, and on top you have another speaker grill and then a secondary noise cancelling mic. So Samsung wants you to listen to music or watch movies like this, which you'll obviously do because your speakers are situated this thoughtfully designed. Now, uh, this guy looks very very compact and despite of being a polycarbonate body um, you know com I mean unlike the iPad mini which has a metallic body aluminum body uh, despite of being a polycarbonate body this is probably as perfect as it gets because this looks very very compact and it does not feel rickety at any point you see at any point to press this very very compactly ma made yeah and also despite of being one of the thinnest device in the market it's great to hold does not slip out from your hands mainly because of this fox leather that gives great grip now you have that 8 mp auto focus camera here led flash or samsung branding and then you have this two dot that actually holds um, the um, optional cover in place so the optional cover will have uh, the other part of the dot so they just go in 
and then hold firmly into place so that those covers do not become loose or you do not uh, you know, lose them you have this nice golden touch here on the sides you also get a titanium brown version that has a very nice you know, brownish or gray tinge on the back and plus this golden ring so that actually kind of looks better than this and uh, you also will get probably the white version more than that one so looks great one of the best looking tablets on the thinnest tablet and although built wise this is a plastic device but this is as perfect a plastic tablet can get the galaxy tab s 8.4 has an 8.4 inch super amoled uh, screen now it has a incredible resolution of 2560 by 600 pixels the identical resolution as the 10.5 inch uh, but on a smaller form factor on a 8.4 inch form factor as compared to the 10.5 inch so effectively this guy actually has um, more color density than the 10.5 inch so uh, you'll see now that the text and even images are actually even sharper than that on the 10.5 inch um, so first of all to just give you a sense of the how crisp the display is I'm going to show you the icons from a microscopic distance there you see you're looking at the tablet now from almost a microscopic distance almost when your eyelashes touch the screen and there's still there are no pixelations at all that's how crisp the um, displays even this round corners not pixelated at all you see that webex icon they are round they're not zagged at all yeah so very very bright and crisp screens I'm just gonna show you the brightness level now how bright it actually goes there you see it goes very very bright but it does not wash out the color there you see even this very heavy yellow here does not get washed out and this it does not clip uh, the details there very good and then I'm gonna show you uh, how it looks at the low and there you see the low um, brightness is really really low and it helps saving the battery to a great deal and then of course I generally like to put it on auto where the adaptive display adjusts according to your ambience light so that to save battery and also not to hurt your eyes you see the images in all the colors everything kind of pops out at such a great resolution see even if you zoom in totally you see you can see the details out here it's incredible display and they're also very very sharp plus it has an amazing viewing angle you see you can almost look at the picture from 180 degree and still reflection does not take over or you do not see discoloration it's a brilliant screen brilliant and so the colors and everything are quite natural they don't overdo the colors these greens and all are just about fine you see now I'm gonna compare this to my color card here and you'll see how true the colors here are in fact uh, Samsung promises about 94% Adobe RGB color gamut um, coverage that means if 100 100% is like the true natural color so this guy covers 94% of all the natural color gamut. that's incredible I haven't heard that from any other display yet in this category on in, in even in any category for that matter so just gonna uh, compare some of the um, colors here let's say this color or this color with this you see they are they are almost the same with the color card uh, see almost the same with the color card the yellow here and the yellow here are exactly the same exactly there are no overdone no difference in saturation and hue at all the green here the green here you see because of course you're looking this is a matte uh, finish and this is a glossy finish so you'll see that extra shine but to see the green tone here the green tone here they're almost perfect yeah and the black here and the black here are exactly similar the blacks are so dark um, the shadows are very very dark all the details pop out here even the videos you will see are full of details 
and you see the shadows here you know, the shadows here everything are very very dark nice and even the high contrast video high contrast images and videos are also properly shown the view angle again it's almost legendary you see even when you zoom in completely you can still see the details here how crisp it is mm -hmm. so that's the one that that's a promotional high quality video we're gonna see uh, film trailer just to make sure everything is okay and not overdone really for the purpose of the display okay, can you see the all the darks on the on the panda have very very dark the blacks are Again. same viewing angles super so images and videos perfect let's check out the text and what's truly amazing is the fact that despite of being an 8.4 inch in all the in ipad mini or in other um, 8 inch or other tablets i actually had to zoom in my magazine so it's a magazine i'm reading it on the magster app so uh, in this case because of the incredible resolution all the text are actually legible even from here i do not necessarily need to zoom in and i can read the text you can see uh, if i bring it closer you see all the texts are still crisp and they are not broken they are not pixelated nor they are illegible because of the relatively small uh, size of the screen now um, i would always suggest that probably you should just uh, zoom in just not to hurt your eyes because text are in general um too small and that's because of the size of the Mac compared to the size of the tablet but in general you do not need to zoom in if you have enough light around and you're not gonna hurt your eyes at all Be even when you zoom in actually the text remain equally sharp and not only the text even the images here you can see even the text with the images background look awesome and amazing I think they're very very crisp you see and even when you zoom in perfectly fine the images are here such a brilliant display this is we are absolutely impressed the tab s 8.4 is powered by android 4.4.2 kitkat and then you have uh, samsung's magazine ux on top now this mag this brand new magazine ux actually bring in some of the feature of the magazine uh, ux of note pro for example this multi window and then you have uh, two left most home pages that just show you the magazine ui here and the productivity ui that are that stay there and then you can create your home pages here and then it also brings in some of the galaxy s5 feature for example uh, your productivity tools there and then you see overall the icons and look and feel are of um, galaxy s5 it also brings in a fingerprint scanner of the galaxy s5 and of course the back here as, I, as you've seen before so that's how the home page look now uh, one thing to note here is that the google here does not work the ok google uh, feature does not work like the s5 it does not work out of box from the home page you actually need to go to google now and then say i see i can say ok google or whatever but it does not work from the home pages just like um unlike the s5 does you have a notification bar you see and then bring it here to bring all your quick function toggle bar you can go to s finder you can quick connect to some other devices you can also go ahead and you can sort all your quick functions uh, according to how you like them your that's straight away takes you to my file yeah and then you have your multi window uh, which is a good candidate for the landscape mode actually 
so you bring in one and then bring in two so this supports a max of two multi uh, two multi window features basically two windows you can do yeah and then that's your recent app you can close all or you can go to task manager Yeah. let's see and then you have your apps here so it's mostly um, you get to see the usual Google Android apps like for example Google Plus and Play Music Play Movies and TVs and books and drives and whatnot you also have some usual Samsung tools and apps like your phone contacts my files default internet browser music and all that came from s5 s planner and all and then some of the note pro features like for example remote pc and webex and all your samsung apps is replaced by galaxy apps here you have smart remote and then some of the popular third party apps like business week plus or dropbox evernote flipboard and come off his viewer you also can download the uh, full suite from here for free and then you have New York Times and then also a new kid mode there it also comes with my Plex and that's kind of gives you access to 100 HD movies or six months whichever is earlier you get to rent a HD movie for a max of 48 hours now let's go ahead and check out the settings first so you have the usual connection settings but no NFC and then your device so you have all the touch sound everything that you see on the Galaxy S flagships most of them actually are the display settings and wallpapers and lock screen and you can go ahead and you can secure it with your fingerprint same way you register your fingerprint like you do it on the S5 you have shortcuts and uh, you have the tool from S5 that can op and you can operate all this on top of any window and then your motions and stuff and your users you can use various users for example you can just tap you can just add another user just like on your desktop PC where you can uh, where you add you know various users and segregate the level of um, accessibility and the level of control over the device so you can set the user here very easily I see already got and then it actually takes you to the same startup screen that you've seen when you bought this device you can add this many accounts you see and your about device here 4.4.2 and that's the model number SMT705 storage so this guy comes with 16 GB storage also comes with 32 GB storage but it supports the micro SD card with the help of which you can add 128 GB additional so it's quite smooth for daily usage but we've experienced some lag when you do a heavy multitasking or you do some um, you know a process hungry transaction like for example you're uh, playing a game and then you suddenly want to come to the desktop or to the home page here so those kind of things actually uh, lag the device a bit we also um, you know stuffed all the home pages everything with widgets so that also one of the reasons um, and we also have a switch on all the animations so this is like a stress test but uh, for daily usage you wouldn't be uh, using so many widgets probably or you um, you know wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be having so many transactions so basically for moderate usage this tablet uh, won't give you any problem at all even moderate to high usage but we're just stress testing this so at times it will give um, it will show lag the dialer you can see is pretty small so that you can even type it with one finger somehow I don't see how you can uh, type it with one finger here but probably somehow from here somewhere like that but uh, this guy has a GSM radio so it supports a full fledged calling just like your phone and you can probably use your um, wired headset or your Bluetooth headset or the speaker or you can even hold this to your ears like many people do with the 7 inch tablets it might be a little too big for your ears but it's up to you so it um, it is a phone as well and then let me show you the keyboard once and then you see the keyboard is also very very comfortable to type and in a, this kind of a wide form factor uh, the portrait keyboard is the best to type and it's it's really fun yeah see 
it's very very comfortable and it has the keyboards layout as if they are like um, the hard keys on a laptop and even when you press it it kind of goes into that groove very nicely laid and the landscape mode they become even better even widely spaced but then become slightly harder for both of your thumbs to manage the default browser renders the web pages perfectly desktop grade and it's so smooth you can see smooth bright crisp you can read all the text perfectly you can pin zoom very easily no lag whatsoever you cannot double tap to zoom in just a bit we also did an HTML5 test and it scores very good 475 out of 555. Other options are fairly usual. The music app like in the case of the phones um, are arranged in all these tabs. You see playlist tracks you also have music square you can also straight away go to any folders and then see all of those. So let's check out the sound output. So I'm going to raise the volume to max. Let's see. So the sound is loud enough but it also has bass but not as much as we would have liked. Uh, someone like the iPad mini's sound is much more bassy and much more uh, clear than this one. The treble is um, fine though it's better than the bass is however the overall output via the speaker is just more than average. However uh, when you're listening to this music via your earphones then the sound gets a lot better. We'll see how it performs in uh, vocal intensive sounds like for example in a movie. Those are speakers. So the surround effect, the 3D effect actually comes out quite nicely in the movie mode, the vocal intensive sound. So this experience is much better than the music experience. It also will depend on the, ty uh, you know, the type of sound you're listening to. So I just have a feeling the music um, and the music app, music would be really good if you're listening to something like a jazz or classical and all. But if you want to listen to rock and heavy metal and uh, something that is uh, that has more of a bass that needs a thumpy groovy bass sound that's where probably you're gonna have some problems also at times it's getting a little screechy the 8 MP back camera has usual UI and that's my fingers hovering over the camera there there it's quite usual you have all the modes of the Samsung Galaxy S5 and then you can download some and then you can straight and go and click the picture it takes some time takes about two seconds and then also takes some time to buffer the picture you can also start recording videos and then click stills while recording videos you also have the usual options like uh, switching to your front camera, then your flash, and then some of the system and um, you know shooting settings there. For example, 4x3, 8 MP, 16 by 9, 6 MP. You have video size, full HD, 30 FPS, then your burst modes and metering modes and all those stuff. 
Still and video quality under enough light uh, have good amount of detail and even the color rendition is good. The saturation and hue are more towards the natural side although not exactly natural. Um, under low light it shows some noise because after all it's a very small sensor and uh, however still it's actually better than most of the older galaxy tabs we have seen. The galleries also usually have all the albums arranged in stack. You can go to any album and you get to this, you know, Windows Explorer kind of a um, setup. You can go to any picture and then edit it. You have a host of options like colors and cropping and stickers and drawings. You can draw over the, draw over the picture and all the text just a bit. Yeah, I can draw over here and all uh, but you cannot batch edit photos however you can share multiple photos just by clicking multiple photos and then share by all these means the galaxy app store actually handpicks some of the uh, apps that are perfect for your galaxy devices including uh, your galaxy tab as 8.4 you also get a lot of apps free some of them are generally free some of them are paid Sight sync is an interesting feature. I mean, it's an it's an old app really, but it has an interesting new feature where I can now um, mirror my phone on my tablet. So there you see, it already says it wants to connect to my Note 3 via Wi-Fi. Uh, before or till now, you could mirror your phone onto your PC, but with this one, I can mirror my phone onto this tablet as well. So I can go ahead. And I can do all sorts of stuff on my phone here. It's just a bit laggy, but still, it's fine when the phone is not within my reach. I love my tablet more than my phone. However, there's another additional cool feature where I can forward my calls from this phone to this tablet, but right now that's only supported by the S5, but it will be extended to other phones as promised by Samsung. The kids mode here will let you create a separate desktop altogether for each of your kids. So you have this uh, fun UI that's the gallery actually and you see all cameras and your drawing board and music and movies and then you have drawing and then all your brushes and stuff so you can go ahead and you can draw anything here you can change the colors and then change the pencils and all stuff pretty fun stuff and then your music and all you can also go here you see and then you can do various things for example now you know that uh, what your kids are doing for the last seven days and then last 30 days most frequently used application and that's one of my kids and daily playtime limit you can set up the limit you can manage all the applications from here all the media from here generally also have a kids store uh, where you can buy various apps and all those stuffs for your kid it's pretty cool really yeah so that's about uh, all the apps so it's pretty smooth generally but lags at times so should you get the galaxy tab s 8.4 well um, different scenarios now if you wanted an Android tablet a smaller tablet that a 10 uh, 10 inch or 12 inch tablet you do not have any tablet that definitely you should go for this one even over the Nexus 7 this guy like smokes the Nexus 7 out of course this is more expensive much more expensive than the Nexus 7 but then with price you get the absolute quality number two if you have the Galaxy Note 8 inch then Probably you can skip this mainly because the Galaxy uh, Note 8 inch does not have a screen as good as this. It's it's not as powerful as this, but uh, it's also good enough on its own. There, it's um, it does not call, f you know, does not call for a change uh, for this model really. So if you have an iPad Mini, definitely no need to go there. Probably you're already tied to the Apple ecosystem, or iPad Mini. Uh, is a good enough tablet on its own however if you do not have any tablet and you're open for suggestion uh, for either Android or iOS I'll, I'll tell you what if you watch movies and uh, you know what movies and images and if you also want your tablet to make calls 
and you know some of the other things even even the camera maybe then you should definitely go for this one over the iPad mini retina the retina does not make sense at all in front of this tablet okay now uh, if you want to read magazines or if you want to listen to music a lot then the iPad mini retina makes more sense because the iPad mini retina has a 4 by 3 aspect ratio this is more of a widescreen it has a 4 by 3 aspect ratio the iPad mini and because of that the magazines would fit better they would um, because the width is more so magazine would fit the width better and you would see the text slightly bigger than the one on this so you'll have to stress your eyes slightly less then you have to on this tablet and also iPad mini's music output via speaker is slightly better than this one so you need to take your call if you like this video please hit the like button uh, ask anything related to this um, tablet and we're gonna try to answer them all and please subscribe to our channel nothing wired for more such awesome content in future thank you